Hey, yo, man, what's good, man? It's your boy, C.O. McClain, with No Advisory Podcast, man. Hey, yo, listen. So this whole Miles Garrett, the number two quarterback, backup quarterback from the Steelers situation that's going on right now, has just got my head mind blown. Like, people are just really ignoring the fact. As I can hear in the background, I'm listening to First Take, Stephen A. and Max Kellerman. And I have to agree a thousand percent with Max Kellerman. Normally, when I watch the show, I don't agree with Max Kellerman. I get it. It's a debate show. They have to contrast their matter of opinions when it comes on the show for the audience to actually watch the show and be engaged. I get all of that. But we got to be realistically here. Not re- We got to be realistically sound in our thoughts and look at the whole situation in its totality. Right? Playing football, they getting beat up. Browns beating them up. National TV, right? You're a second string quarterback. You're fucking up the whole game. Interception, getting pounced. Miles Garrett comes. Uh, l- l- end of the game. Throws you on the floor. Yeah, it got y'all. On national TV, he's upset. He's trying to rip Miles Garrett head off. Miles Garrett like, <laughs> dog, this is how you do it. Eh, takes his helmet off. Got his helmet in victory. He walking back. The two linemen is like, yo, dog, chill. Don't do my quarterback like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he, like. So he's upset. He's on national TV. He's a second string quarterback. He just got plumbed to the floor. He's upset. His ego is hurt. So what does he do? Nah, man, fuck that. I ain't done. He I'm going to rush at Miles Garrett. So Miles Garrett like, oh, wait a minute. I got two of his linemen holding me back. He's rushing me. He got his arm on me. If you're in the fight, what do you normally do, right? Your natural reaction is, this guy's rushing me. I'm going to throw a punch and get him off of me, right? But unfortunately for Miles Garrett, he had a helmet in his hand. So he's like, oh, fuck off me. So then after that, that's where all hell break loose. Everybody's looking at the helmet. Oh, his soul. He should be fucking suspended for the rest of the season, the next season. It's his soul. He should go to jail. He should lose. Y'all, come on. And then I like Max Kellerman because he specifically stated in the rule book, section 17.165, it states that if a guy takes off his helmet and uses his helmet as a thing and hits the guy without a helmet on his head, it's a 15-yard penalty, you're disqualified. That's it. That's in the rule book, in the NFL rule book. These guys are putting a whole bunch of added fuel to the fire. Well, what if he would have hit him in the head with the helmet and his Eyeballs popped out and teeth fell out and his tongue was following his teeth and he stomped on it. What? <laughs> Seriously? You cannot add that stuff to the equation. The bottom line is he got hit in the head on the side of his head with a helmet. Was he right? No. Was he right in justifiably trying to defend himself? Yes. Unfortunately, he had a helmet in his hand when he... His, his, his reaction like, I'm going to try to punch and get him off of me. Helmet in his hand. Hit him in his head. And then at the press conference, he's going to have the nerve to say, you know, well, I'm not going to allow nobody to take advantage of me. <laughs> He's a little barbaric. If I say the least, you know, I'm just going to do here and do my job. Fuck out of here. Like, yo, if any one of us was in that situation and some guy rushing at me, dog, I'm going to hit you. If I got a helmet in my hand, I'm going to suffer the consequences. Fuck it. But you're going to get both for me today. And that's just my opinion. I don't care what y'all got to say. Like, share, comment, whatever you got to do. But Miles Garrett, my nigga.